Shabbat Shalom to all my homies out there. Well, it's 11 o'clock. It's 11 p.m. And uh, I'm sitting here at the desk just looking at some scriptures, watching a few videos, and I got something I want to share with you. And don't be offended. Please don't be offended. You know, over the past 12 years, I have, since I've been in the Torah, I have felt what it was like firsthand to be disconnected. When I say disconnected, I'm talking about, you know, being, feeling like an alien around people that I used to feel like family with, people that I respected, people that I considered friends. You know, and um, because when you come into the knowledge of truth and you accept it, There comes a responsibility and an accountability. And that is to walk with rightly before the Father, whether you're walking with a group or, 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 or whether you're walking by yourself. Eric and I was talking earlier today, you know, we this coming November, we have been together for eight years, the best eight years of my life. But we have experienced what it what it feels like to be alone. You know, we've been here in Bennettsville for eight years, except for a short season, and we moved back to Michigan. But, you know, we have presented the gospel, the truth, the Torah, but it's not been received. And I'm at a point right now where the truth is not meant for everybody. Not everybody is going to receive the truth. And I'm learning a very, very valuable lesson at a high cost. It doesn't matter if they receive it or not. I got to remain true. I got to remain faithful to the Father with the responsibility that he's given me. That is to walk uprightly before him, to walk in the precepts of his word, to put it to you this way, to follow his instructions of how he wants me to live. And I've been thinking about this, this phrase that's real common in the church. And they say, we're going to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the nation. I'm going to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. There is no such thing as the gospel of Jesus Christ. You don't teach Jesus to the nation. Hello? I know that's a hard pill to swallow. But I see so many pastors, man, they, get, they can't get out of the, new, the so-called New Testament. In Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20, listen to what Yeshua, Jesus said. And Yeshua came and spake to them, saying, All power is given to me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, listen to me. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. I mean, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. You have to ask yourself a question, why is it they can't see that? 
Yeshua taught the Torah. He lived, he was the living, breathing, walking, talking Torah. He was the Torah made flesh. He was the word of Elohim made flesh. Everything that the Father wanted to reveal to man was in the Messiah, Yeshua. And he lived the Torah. He taught the Torah. His disciples taught the Torah. They instructed people how to walk uprightly before the Father simply by, by obeying his instructions. And for the life of me, you know, it's so simple, but yet so complicated for some. Because you've got some that's been in the church for years. They can quote the scriptures like the back of their hand. But yet they, their eyes has been blinded from the truth. And I can only, I can only resolve this with looking at it this way. You know, we're instructed, we're instructed to not to take our pearl and cast it before swine. Hello. The pearl represents something of great value. It represents the truth. If the Father, if, if Yeshua tells us not to take our pearl and cast before the swine, He's telling us to do something that he's going to do. He's not going to reveal his truth, his Torah, to those to whom he know, one, not going to receive it, and two, not going to teach it. Because you got a lot of people out there, a lot of men that stand behind, behind the pulpit, they know the Torah, but they will not teach it as doctrine. The last words that they will hear of the Messiah is depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Iniquity is lawlessness, not following the instructions recorded in the Torah. You meditate upon this. And again, Shabbat Shalom.